It's time for the One Bar and Lepica Show, bringing you anything and everything Minnesota Vikings. Welcome to Professional Football. Welcome again to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I am Lepicus, and I'm about just over a week away from a haircut. Uh, man, do I need it. Look at those wings. I can fly with those things. All right, today we're going to talk about Oli Udo, the second-year offensive tackle for the Vikings, and what we can expect from this 6'5", 323-pound monster in year two. Before we do that, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our vids. Uh, we're getting close to 500 likes, and man, if we got there by the end of this week, we would be soaking wet with joy. All right, Oli Udo, what can we expect from this guy? Well, let's talk about his rookie season. Um, you know, he was kind of seen as a project. He was uh, taken out of small school, Elon, and, uh, you know, there's, there's only been about 20 people who even heard of that school, let alone this player. Um, he was inactive primarily the majority of the season. He got in the final game against the Bears, and again, it didn't mean a damn thing. The Bears had nothing to play for. The Vikings had nothing to play for. Um, it was just kind of a meaningless game. But in that game, Oli Udo played with some uh, aggression, a lot of aggression, really. He was very uh, physical. He even got, I think he got a unnecessary roughness penalty because he was doing stuff after the uh, whistle blew. And there was even some uh, tape on Twitter of him pancaking Khalil Mack. Well, obviously, you can say, well, maybe Khalil Mack wasn't trying very hard. And he probably wasn't. Uh, why would he? You know, with what he makes and the game doesn't mean anything. He's probably thinking about whatever hell vacation he was going to take. But either way, uh, Ole Udo was impressive that game. So there is some good buzz going into the offseason. And now as we approach the start of the 2020 regular season. Um, but still, so where is Ole Udo going to be? And what can we expect from him? Um, there was talk the Vikings are going to move this guy to guard. Which, you know, makes sense. He's athletic enough to do it. He's, he's physical enough to do it. But the problem is without mini camps, without OTAs, and probably a shortened preseason, he's just not going to get the snaps and the practice reps he needs to be ready to make a position change. So, you know, what? maybe he'll come in and, and spot duty at guard. He, I, don't, I can't see him winning a starting job just with his lack of experience at the position. So I think he's going to be, uh, he's going to see a lot more snaps. I think he got 31 last year. I think he's going to be active every single game this year, be one of the top backups off the bench at both tackle positions. Um so I do think we see a lot more of Ole Udo in year two, and maybe we even see him at guard, but that maybe might be something that has to get pushed back a year just because of the way this uh, goofy offseason is. So my expectations for Ole Udo, I think he can be a swing offensive lineman, fill in at both tackle positions, and then potentially at guard. Um, I'm excited about this kid's potential. I like what, we, what he showed in that Bears game. Um, he's got that year of seasoning under his belt. He's used to the NFL game, NFL coaching. So, um, yeah, he could be one of these guys who takes a big step in year two. And I'm excited to see what he brings to the table. So, Ole Udo, uh, expecting great things from you this year, my friend.